nutritionist. We are having a terrible drought. There are people who are sleeping hungry. We see it in the news and it's just so heartbreaking. What do you think is the problem that is ailing us right now? Yeah. And how can we correct it? Yeah, of course. Um, I think climate change has a lot to do with um, the kind of adverse weather effects we're experiencing. Right. At the same time, I do feel, um, as we were talking, like in a Kenyan perspective, mm -hmm. because it's already here, the dust is already here. Right. So we can't reverse. We can't reverse it. Um, but then we, we can have some measures that will then help us in future mm -hmm. to like sort of mitigate the adverse effects. And, and as I was speaking to you, yeah. I do think that Kenya uh, generally does not have a production problem. Okay. Because when you talk about food security, you consider production, mm -hmm. distribution, and consumption of the foods. So I do feel like Kenya has a very, maybe an average production mm -hmm. uh, capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then the main problem comes in um, when we talk about distribution. Exactly. Yes. And what I mean by that is you'll find there are counties, for example, in the central part of Kenya, Moranga, mm -hmm. um, Kiambu, Nyeri, they're, they're very good in production. Yeah. Uh, but you find that most of the food that is produced goes to waste. Mm -hmm. uh, reason being, you have lots of potatoes yeah, <laughs> and yeah. your neighbor has the same. Exactly. So you can't give the them whole if it's, neighborhood. Yeah. So you can't, if it's surplus after Umoza and Umoza, you can't give to your neighbor because you already have what you have. Right. But then you find this farmers do not have proper storage facilities. Okay, uh -huh. So what happens is most of this food product end up um, you know, rotting in their farms mm -hmm. while there's people in counties like Tanariva, Mandera, Wajia who do not have the capacity to produce the same food yeah. but they need it. And so I think what should happen is uh, for example, um, the Ministry of Agriculture mm -hmm. should have a system whereby there is lots of um, um, movement of like surplus foods from counties that produce a lot to yes. those that do not produce at all. Exactly. Because as I say to you again, is we have a um, situation where in Kenya we have double burden of malnutrition. Right. And what that means is we have people who are overweight and obese. Yeah. And on the other end, we have people who are underweight or stunted and yeah, yeah malnourished. In exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like, um, it's an imbalance of what we are producing in the country. Mm. So if we could have systems where surplus products from certain counties are then transferred, it could be at a cost. They could buy it maybe at a cheaper rate to counties where there's no production. Right. I feel like we could probably reduce the rates of malnutrition in That's the country. True. That's true. And also, um, it also has a lot to do with uh, what we call health. Uh, education so telling people about the importance of certain um, nutrients for example carbohydrates protein so that mm -hmm. they they don't uh, just eat one <laughs> type of nutrient and yeah. then forget about the other and you know? nimekula, nimeshiba, eh, that's it yeah. we're growing because people people say well it's actually true but in the central part of kenya there's lots of um, overweight and obesity rates because most of our diets constitute of um, carbohydrates right right um uh -huh. Which, I mean, that's what we grew, so... Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> but then people I, I, should be educated on about um, not just balanced diets, mm -hmm. but also the importance of, like, d what we call diet diversity. Diversifying your foods, what you eat. Yes. I know it's that's so tempting, it's and we, you know, we love waru. <laughs> sometimes when I cool too, because you don't want it to go bad, and you yeah. said there's a storage problem, yeah. so you just cannot sit there and watch it get wasted away. Yeah. So you have to consume it as much as you can. As you can, yeah. Alright, that's very interesting. I mean, you're very wise when it comes to that so books check thank you thank you <laughs> books check and uh i love that you're very eloquent when you understand this this whole topic that yeah. shows that you've gone to a different country stay there for a long time but you still have the patriotism in you and you I studied do. you know you've studied your country as well yeah so let's now do some randomness before now we can, you know, wrap it up. Yeah. I've got a few questions here for you. Very interesting questions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to get you in trouble. Yeah, they're not going <laughs> to sure? get you in trouble. I promise you. <laughs> Where is Taki Kujua, please? <laughs> <laughs> so first and foremost, we are like about two days past uh, the Day of Lovers. Ooh. You know what I'm going to ask, definitely. <laughs> is Wanja by herself, by her lonesome, or Wanja um, is, is glued to the hip by, with somebody? <laughs> I do have a special person. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, so number two. Who is more loyal mm -hmm. in Kenya? Is it a Kenyan man or a woman? Allah. Ah, bas. 
I like Where this question. Where are you Who is more loyal? Yeah. You've been with men, of course, and you have friends who are female. Yeah. I'm very sure sometimes you're caught up in the, in, in the middle of, hey, Jamani, apo ulichoma besti. And then there's a guy somewhere you're like, I, 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 will not, I will never trust men in him <laughs> ever again. So who do you think is more loyal? I, I think... Uh, maybe okay i'll say on a personal level i feel mm-hmm. like it's a uh, individual it's very what's the word it's very it comes down to who a person is yes but then generally speaking i mm-hmm. think women have been socially conditioned to be loyal <laughs> <laughs> yeah because people say a man is polygamous which i don't well it's a whole other topic that i would, uh, yeah don't think very it's different quite, topic. yeah but yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, so generally speaking, because mm-hmm. of the static conditioning, I say women are more loyal. I'm more loyal. Yeah. I like that. You took me to River Road, brought me down to Globe, <laughs> Ukani Panisha Westy, but finally we're back pants, to the huh? CBD. Yeah. So what is your pick? A day with a Kenyan politician mm-hmm. or a day with your high school principal? Wow. Let me I ask, think, let me mm-hmm. ask first. Mm-hmm. Is your principal, was she Mulatia? No. Hey. <laughs> you know, I was I was to say when you were listening to Swali, when you were some politician, I was like, okay, maybe I'll say politician. You always say kwani ni wanakwanga vinyo ako. Yeah. But yeah, now, when yeah. you said high school teacher, Principal, I would really yeah. want to have. Do you say a date or like a meet? day? Just a, a day. day. Yeah. I you would know, spend really, time with them. Yeah, I'd really want to spend a day with my high school head teacher. Mm-hmm. Reason being. I feel like that lady, Mrs. Mulatia, bless yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. She is very, like she she goes for what she wants. Right. She recently, I think she was promoted to chief principal at yeah. Kenya High. Yes. No, no, no. She's in. She has a post somewhere in Australia. Oh, different. With, yeah. The last time I checked, she was in Kenya High. Wow. Uh, no, Sai, but then she has a new Akona Chompia, and oh, she's wow. doing really well for herself. Wow. Uh-huh. And she really motivates me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'd spend. I'd want to spend a day with my high school head teacher. Nice. So kiss, marry, kill. We've got Bahati. Oh, we've wait. got Rington, and we've got um, <laughs> Willie Paul. I'm going to doing I was very <laughs> intentional. <laughs> Ones that I've touched and everybody who has who has got like um what's the word has got controversy going. <laughs> so kiss, kiss kill? marry, kill. There's Bahati, there's Rington, and there's Willie Paul. Neza pass your swali. We talk, we pass. <laughs> yeah, pass. I don't feel like I want you to pass, but it's okay. I, I totally understand. So which celebrity, especially a lady, mm-hmm. would you want to be your maid of honor? Mm-hmm. All right. I've oh, got Nikita Kering. Ooh. I've got Elsa Majimbo. Mm-hmm. And I've got Asia Nasanya. Who are you going with? I'm going with Nikita Kerry. Why? Reason being, uh-huh. I feel like she's, I don't know, she, um, her aura is very calm mm-hmm. and she comes across as a person who is, I don't know, like, who enjoys life for mm-hmm. what it mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. And I also think because she sings really nicely, maybe she's gonna ne- sing. Ne- yeah, I would be lucky and she would sing at my wedding. For free. <laughs> for free. Wa Kenya. <laughs> What? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be bad. No, we're free. <laughs> All right. If you would get yourself in trouble, mm-hmm. what would you be? What would that problem be? If you would get yourself into trouble right now for mm-hmm. something, what would it be? If I'd get myself into trouble. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Mm. Um, something to think. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think maybe I don't know. Honestly, you're a calm, collected person. Yeah. You rarely get into trouble. Yeah, honestly. I think this is the wrong question. <laughs> but since you didn't answer this one, I will take you back to the kiss, marry, kill. Hi, Jamami. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to take <laughs> you back pass. to that one. <laughs> All right. As we, qui- as we, as we wind, uh, wind up, now give me a, at, at least three songs that will never miss in your playlist. Three songs that will never miss in my playlist. Right. Uh, Rumba Japani by Sauti Soul. I don't know that song. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That the, I'm, I'm not very musical, so I don't know the musical terms. Okay. But the the it has a deep. How do I put it? Uh-huh. When they play it, is um, the music is very. It's from the like midnight train. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very dope. Um, it's my favorite from that album, actually. Yeah. Uh huh. And number two. Number two would be um, I love listening to Love. Mm-hmm. L A U V. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. you know that yeah. guy. Yeah. His music is just on another level. Uh huh. Um, and I do like listening to my brother's songs. I'll just put them. Okay, then Sijalist like from best from best to like you know Nini. Uh-huh. But I have two just brothers. Randomly. Yeah, uh-huh. I have two brothers who mm-hmm. do music, and oh, I wow. I'll put them like at number three. Pamoja. 
So I love wow. listening to their songs. I All think right. every day I have to play at least two. Two of those songs. The, yeah, yeah, two of their songs. You're such a supportive sister. Very supportive. <laughs> we're going to talk about your brothers yeah. being in music, but unfortunately time is up. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that off air. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Munja, for coming. Thank really you. Really interesting to give us a window into your life. Yeah. And for being very open yeah. and very nice and good company. Yeah. Looking forward to much more. And uh, as you go back, say hello to our friends over there, <laughs> our Kenyans over there. Tell them we're still here hanging in there. Occasionally on a fact to Okay, thank you so much for having me. It's been a real pleasure. Uh -huh. And yeah, a shout out to all my friends who support yeah, yeah. my adventures mm -hmm. and to uh, Unique Print Safaris, which is um, my favorite safari travel group in right. Kenya. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, I enjoy uh -huh. traveling with them. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. That is Wanja Nyaga here on Nation FM. It's the final hour now. We are crossing over to Stand By for Rumba Japani on the way, one of our favorite songs. And of course, today we're just going to play you some Wanja playlist. So yeah, stand by for that. My name is Anthony Muli. See you on the other side of the hour. Good evening.